Hi, I'm Sarah Woods. If you want to be a CEO, you know that hard work, technical expertise, and even experience are not enough to take you to the top. These will get you to the table, but you'll need to differentiate yourself from others who have similar aspirations and talents. As we've worked with CEOs and their succession candidates over the years, we've uncovered a few criteria you'll need to adopt to land the top spot. First, you'll need a track record of exceptional performance that goes beyond delivering results. You get on the radar with high visibility projects that exceed expectations, but it's how you make that happen that counts. Be prepared to be scrutinized for both the results and how you achieve them. Your ability to lead by example, to motivate and inspire your team to go above and beyond, and to execute by clearly communicating your plan puts you in the running for CEO. Second, Think and speak strategically at the organizational level. Those who make it onto the succession plan are able to look and work across departmental boundaries and understand how their decisions fit into the overall corporate strategy. When you speak to the board and the executive team, take an enterprise level point of view. Understand how to connect with these audiences and talk about what matters at that level. Third, to make it into the CEO pipeline, you'll need to build relationships, both across the organization as well as externally with analysts, investors, customers, and the press. In doing so, you'll show others that you understand the power of a personal brand and how it can drive corporate results. You'll appear CEO ready to handle the job of becoming the face and the voice of the company. To learn more about how we help our clients get ready to become the CEO, visit our CEO Center. You can't start too early. I'm Sarah Woods. Thanks for watching.